In this video, we are trying to perform some analysis of the AdventureWorks customer database, trying to analyze the information according to geographic information like the city, the state, the country, as well as the sales territory it fits into within the AdventureWorks regions. For every single customer, we have a geography key, and that geography key can be found in a lookup table which then details all of the other information that we are looking to include in our customer database. And the specific challenge we have is because we need to perform a lookup for four different pieces of information, I would like to be able to do this with a single function and not have to change the function as I copy it across into each of these four columns. So we are going to achieve this using a match function inside of a VLOOKUP to replace for the third argument, which asks for the column we want to turn back. I'm going to hide the speech bubble with control six, and let's get into creating our VLOOKUP. Let's start with the VLOOKUP, as we've done before, equals VL and hit tab. So we're going to look up the geography key, but remembering that as we copy this to the right hand side, because this is a relative reference, the column is going to change from B to C to D. And we certainly don't want that to happen. We do want the row to change from 10, 11, and 12, etc. So let's use F4 once, twice, three times to lock down just the column. I'm then going to provide the table, moving to the lookup table and making sure to select the geography key as the first column so that VLOOKUP will look through that leftmost column. And before I press Control Shift and Down, Let's note the columns that we might need. City can be found in column two. The province name is in four. The country name is in six. And the sales territory key is all the way in eight. Now I can press Control Shift down. And let's hit F4 to lock that table down so that it doesn't move. For the first column that we were interested in, we want column two, which is the name of the city. Followed by zero for an exact match. And as you can see, I get the correct answer for city. However, I wanted to create a single function that works for all of these cells. If I try and drag this answer across, you will notice that I get the answer of Rockhampton for every single column. And that is because while I've correctly referenced the geography key, the one item that is not changing is the hard coded column index number of two. So what many people like to do is the following. They use a helper row and type out the different columns that they are actually looking for. So for example, ours were two, four, six, and eight. And instead of using a hard-coded figure, they reference that helper row, being sure to lock down just the row. Then copying the formula to the right picks up that new column index number each time. And while this method certainly works, we run certain risks. For example, moving the city column all the way to the end of the data set would break our lookup, which is now looking up column two in the table, which is changed to the state province code. That is the first risk. Secondly, somebody might come across this information, which looks like random numbers and simply hit delete and then break each one of your lookup functions. To avoid this, we are going to use a match within the VLOOKUP to dynamically return the correct column number as we move across. So to start, let's first build the match function, typing equals M followed by tab. The lookup value is going to be the actual name of the column header. And because we are going to copy this all the way down and across, we need to use a locked row reference so that it never moves off of row nine. We can then provide the lookup array, looking into the lookup table, highlighting all of the headers in this lookup table and pressing F4 to lock it down. I can then simply use comma zero 
for an exact match. And as you can see, I get an answer of two over here. But as I copy this across, I get answers of three, six, and eight. And as you can see, the match function is sometimes even more accurate than we will be. You might have heard me earlier mention that we are looking for the state province name. However, since this cell name is in fact state province code, Excel performs a match looking for that particular name in our lookup table. And as you can see, it correctly answers that it is column number three. So that is why it is very useful to use the match function to provide this answer. Similarly, if we do move the city column like we did a moment ago, you'll notice that now the column number for city will simply update and return a seven. So this is definitely the most robust way of changing the column index number. Now all we need to do is build our lookup in front of the match function. Some people might like to simply build the VLOOKUP immediately and others might prefer to select the entire match, press Ctrl X to cut it. And as they start building the VLOOKUP like we did earlier, referencing the geography key with a locked column reference, looking into the entire lookup table, starting in column A and pressing F4 to lock it down. Once you get to the column index number argument, we can simply hit Control V to paste that entire match function, which was returning the correct column number. Then all you need to do is remember is to finish off the VLOOKUP using an exact match. Now we can copy this across and down, and you can see we get the exact correct answer for every single cell using a single formula. Even if we were to make the mistake manually of typing out column four instead of column three, the VLOOKUP with the match returning the column index number doesn't make such mistakes. So as you can see, it is possible to create a single function that provides the correct answer in multiple columns instead of going in and fixing multiple formulas across a range of columns. And we did this using the match function within the VLOOKUP to replace for the column index number argument. We'll see you in the next video.